Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. This time I'm reviewing a premium lager for you. And it's one of those mass-produced premium lagers that you see in pretty much every single supermarket going. Um, and it's a can of a beer that has a bit of a... Holds a place in my, in my heart because they used to sponsor my football club for many years. Um, if you kind of link the Spurs and if you think... And if you know anything about your football, you know what beer I'm talking about. You know what brewery I'm talking about. Um, obviously, it's Holston Pills. Um, yeah, they sponsored my football club for many, many years. And um, yeah, so this is their Holston Pills. Premium lager, coming in at 5% ABV. I'm sure you've all seen that can. It's in all the supermarkets. Kind of gets overlooked. I don't know many people that drink this stuff on a regular basis. Um, but it's still readily available in a lot of places. Um, I've been doing a lot of online gaming since we've kind of been on quarantine. So I've been playing with a few of my mates. And you have to have a, a beer, an easy drinking beer, a forgettable beer or something that you can just drink without worrying too much about it. Something you haven't got to worry about too much about the taste with, you know. Um, and this is, I think, one of the better lagers out there. Um, picked a few of these up in my local corner shop. It is available everywhere. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a 5% ABV premium lager. Um, what does it say about it? Ingredients, water, malted barley, glucose syrup and hops. This is in a 500ml can. Um, yeah, once more, look at the artwork if you haven't seen it. Bright yellow and green can. Available everywhere. Most supermarkets stock this stuff. So without uh, further waffling, let's get this out of its can. 500ml can, normally you can get four of these for about six quid, something like that, four big cans. In she goes, see if I can get the old lot in one. Boom, yes, old lot in one, leave that there, the big Austin pills. There she is, in the glass, golden colour, as you'd expect. Yeah. Very light levels of carbonation. It's a few bubbles rising up it at the moment. It's got one finger white head on it. Golden colour. Transparent as you like, translucent as you like. You see all the way through that. Looks like a standard lager. Let's give it a bit of a wriggle without chucking it all over the place. Get me snout in. See if we can get an aroma. Yeah, a bit of citrus. Bit of a hoppy. Hoppy bitterness, bit of a touch of that on the nose as well. But yeah, very subtle. Very subtle aroma on this Holsten Pils. Um, brewed in Hamburg, Germany, in case you're wondering. So, German lager. Um, let's get a taste. Cheers, guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, I said at the beginning of the video that this is kind of one of my go-to lagers, one of my preferred lagers, um, because I've never, I've never drunk a can of Holston Pills and thought afterwards it tastes artificial, it tastes tinny. I've never had that with this beer. Um, but this is the first time I've reviewed it, and the first time I've really had to think about it when I'm drinking it, and still, it's not tinny, it doesn't taste artificial, it all tastes very natural, it's a smasher, it's easy drinkable, it's a thirst quencher, does exactly what you want a lager to do, you are getting a bit of citrus, you get a bit of malt, and it does have a nice little hoppy kick at the back as well. It's It does what all good lagers should do. But what very few mass-produced lagers actually do. It tastes clean. It tastes fresh. It, it's just good. It's just a good lager. Um, it's, like I say, Holston Pills. I'm going to start a little bit of a campaign for Holston Pills. I think it's an underrated uh, lager. I'm just going to say it now. Holston Pills is an underrated lager. 
it's good. There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. Yeah. Crisp, refreshing, nice level of carbonation on this one. It's maintaining your head, even a little bit of lacing on the glass. A bit of quality there, you see. Mass produced, you can get it everywhere, but it's still decent. 5% premium lager. Holston Pills. I'm just going to give that an 8 out of 10. Lagers is still... A lager is still one of my favourite beer styles. I bought a load of lagers because I've been doing a bit of online gaming and I wanted to drink some beers whilst I was doing it without having to worry too much about the flavour. But at the same time, I don't want to be drinking a, a, a pint of piss. I want to drink a good lager. This is up there with Rheinbacker from Audi for me. I, I waffle on about Rheinbacker by Audi being one of the best lagers. I mean, they say it's a Pilsner. But for me, that's a lager and it's one of the best lagers out there. This is up there with it. It really is. It's a bit more expensive than Rheinbacker. I still think Rheinbacker is a better purchase. But there's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. That's a solid 8 out of 10. All day long. It does exactly what you want a lager to do. Nothing artificial about it. At the end of the day, it's brewed by the Germans. They don't mess about when it comes to brewing their beers. Um, yeah, brewed and canned in the EU by Colesberg, apparently, now. Um, but yeah, originally it was brewed in Hamburg, Germany. The ingredients, I mean, it does say there's some glucose syrup in it. But other than that, it's water, malted barley and hops. But it tastes good. It's a good lager. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Good lager, 8 out of 10. Holston Pills, one more. Yeah, thin, bordering on watery, no real body to it. Nice citrus hit, nice bit of malt, subtle malt, but it's there. And that combines with a nice subtle hoppiness at the back end. Good lager, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Holston Pills, available everywhere. That's an 8 out of 10. Um, yeah, till my next one, guys. You take care. Cheers.